They were the golden child of British cinema and made unforgettable films together. However, after six years of marriage, Emma Thompson and Kenneth Branagh fell apart. The couple tried to convince their fans that this was due to their busy schedules, but the truth eventually came out. Kenneth had an affair with Helena Bottom Carter. Kenneth Branagh and Emma Thompson met while starring in the miniseries Fortunes of War. Why are you helping me? I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I feel sorry for you. Maybe I like you. The couple soon started a romance so strong that they tied the knot only two years later. The wedding ceremony took place in a luxury country house near London, and it was star-studded. Actor Brian Blessed was the best man, and some of the guests included Stephen Fry, Hugh Laurie, and Judi Dench. The Lovebirds not only worked well as a couple, but also made an excellent professional duo. The actors continued starring in films together, some of which Kenneth directed. The pair was nicknamed the Ken and M Show. The couple stayed in love for several years. However, near the end of their marriage, their union started to show signs of trouble. In January 1995, Thompson spent two weeks at a health clinic. According to People magazine, when Branagh visited her, the actress told another patient, he might as well have not bothered, I just want to sleep. Emma's desire to start a family could have also added tension to the marriage. Two years before the divorce, the actress told an interviewer that she felt her biological clock ticking away. However, Ken was very tired from all the work he'd been doing. I should think all his sperms are on crutches, she joked. Finally, the couple released a divorce statement in 1995, explaining that their work had kept them separate for long periods of time. As a result, we have drifted apart, the stars added. Fans were understandably shocked. Many believe there was more to the story, and they were right. The year before his divorce, Branagh directed and starred alongside actress Helena Bonham Carter in his adaptation of Frankenstein, and it was later revealed that they had an affair. In a 1994 interview with Us Magazine, the director explained why he didn't cast Emma in Frankenstein. Branagh said he felt like doing this one with another actress. It seemed to us absurd that M must always be in everything, he said, before adding that Helena was right for the role. Kenneth's affair was probably not a surprise for Emma since the actor was known for falling in love on set. According to the Daily Mail, at one point, an unnamed actress threatened to hit him if he didn't stop propositioning her. Before their split, Branagh and Thompson even discussed going to therapy to help him get rid of this habit. The breakup was very hard for Thompson. Later on, she even used the heartbreak to give one of her most memorable performances in the 2003 rom-com Love Actually. In the film, Emma plays a wife and mother who discovers her husband is being unfaithful during Christmas. When her character finds out, she quietly starts crying but quickly has to piece herself together so as not to ruin the holiday for her kids. At a 2018 fundraiser, the actress explained that she used her real-life experience to draw inspiration for her heart-wrenching performance. She said she could relate to her character saying, I had my heart very badly broken by Ken. We're glad she was able to channel her pain into creating such a memorable scene. Thompson has also opened up about her mental health after the breakup, explaining that she had clinical depression. She confessed to the Times UK that it was very tough and that she probably should have sought professional help sooner. Divorce, ghastly, painful business, the actress told the magazine. Emma was able to overcome her depression with the help of her true calling, making movies. The star decided to adapt Jane Austen's novel, Sense and Sensibility, for the screen. Writing this screenplay gave Thompson a reason to get out of bed and allowed the actress to reconnect with romance through Austen's writing. Well, Emma's work paid off. She was nominated for Best Actress at the Oscars for her role in the film and won the Academy Award for Best Adapted Screenplay. Her career wasn't the only thing that blossomed because of the film since she met her true love and future husband on the set. Greg Wise was one of the actors starring in the movie. Before filming, he had seen a psychic friend who told him he would meet his future wife on the set of Sense and Sensibility. This led to a hilarious anecdote. Just before we shot Sense and Sensibility, this witchy mate of mine said, you're gonna meet the love of your life. And lo, nearly 25 years yeah. later, still with him. When he arrived on set, Wise thought actress Kate Winslet was the one. The two actors went on a date, but there was no chemistry. Later on, it was Kate who suggested to Greg that he should date Emma. Thompson was still hurt by her breakup, but a few months after the divorce, she decided to give love a chance and went on a date with Greg. And the psychic friend was right because the couple has been together for almost three decades. After dating for eight years, the lovebirds finally got married in 2003. They shared two children. 
Tindy is a former child soldier from Rwanda who the family adopted after inviting him to Christmas Eve dinner. He is now a human rights activist who travels the world helping refugees and asylum seekers. Their daughter, Gaia, has followed in her parents' footsteps and become an actress. Emma certainly got her happy ending and was able to get over the affair. In 2013, the actress and screenwriter addressed the infidelity in an interview with the Sunday Times. She explained that she was over it and there wasn't any bad blood between her, Kenneth, or Helena. You can't hold on to anything like that. It's pointless, Thompson said. She also joked about her and Bonham Carter being similar because they were both slightly mad and a bit fashion challenged. Perhaps that's why Ken loved us both, the star added. She's a wonderful woman, Helena. Speaking of Helena and Ken, what happened to them after the split? Well, after the affair, they decided to continue their relationship. The actress later confessed that they had met well before filming Frankenstein during a poetry reading on a boat in 1988. However, according to her, they didn't have a proper conversation until they worked together on the movie. The actors decided to keep their relationship low-key. Although they were photographed kissing in the summer of 1996, they didn't announce they were together until a year later. Bonham Carter confirmed the relationship when she told reporters, Of course we're together, and it's very nice, thank you. However, their love was not meant to last, and they split in 1999. Luckily, the exes remained friendly. In fact, it was Helena herself who introduced Kenneth to his future wife, art director Lindsay Brunick. They met again on the set of Shackleton, a miniseries where he starred and she worked behind the scenes. The couple fell for each other, so much so that after only being together for a few days, they decided to go on a six weeks holiday. They got married in 2003 after dating for two years. The ceremony was super secret and only seven people were present. Rana and Brannock's marriage has remained strong for almost two decades. The actor has decided to keep his marriage out of the spotlight and rarely addresses it publicly. However, he did open up about not having kids in 2016. The star told the Belfast Telegraph that there was no mystery around it, it just never happened. Branagh hasn't made many comments about his former marriage to Thompson. However, he did confess to the London Times that the divorce helped him realize there was more to life than work and that it allowed him to slow it down a bit. Kenneth and Emma are still friendly with each other and with Helena. In fact, the three actors have worked together since the infidelity happened. They have all been a part of the Harry Potter franchise, although each of them debuted in different installments. Each of the stars is happy and living their own life. Here at Rumor Juice, we wish all three the best.